Oh. Wow, after that last video, I had a star fruit. One of the first real star fruits I've had in half a year, almost a year. Ugh, oh, real star fruit don't exist up north because once they get ripe, they go dead quickly. That's why they never make their way up north. Once they're picked, that's the way they stay. They don't ripen once they're picked. That's why everybody that's had a real star fruit has never. Everybody's had a star fruit has never had a real star fruit. They think they taste a certain way and that they're green. It's no. They're dark orange. They smell. They're incredibly sweet. Anyway, this video is not about star fruit. Sorry, I got a orgasmic love of awesome fruit, especially exotic fruit. I keep seeing kitty cats over there. We have like two stray cats in my backyard. This isn't my house, my neighbor's house. Anyway, one of the important things I wanted to talk about is that the easiest methodology, methodology, excuse me, star fruit in my mouth, <laughs> easiest methodology to improve your photography is that you need to start becoming a control freak. What does being a control freak mean? It means you need to start shooting at least an aperture priority or shutter priority. Obviously, you need to differentiate when you need the two. Obviously, speed's a priority or aperture's a priority. Okay, you differentiate out that. Start shooting in manual mode and start using a manual focus lens. Eh, I want to use manual focus lens. If you have eyesight issues, obviously that's a situation. Okay, stick with autofocus. But use it manual mode. You have to start engaging with your camera. Once you engage with it, then you're going to start knowing what you're doing and what you're not doing. You're going to notice the mistakes you made. You're going to screw up about 20% of the time. You're going to recorrect. But you're going to start seeing what is potentially there by perpetually adjusting your own aperture and your own shutter on your own camera in manual mode. Your camera, no matter how expensive it is, and I've got the most expensive ones, they're all stupid pieces of crap. Every single one of those expensive cameras that you think is going to 10,000 autofocus point and 8 zone matrix meter, they're all stupid crap. You know I've owned them all. and Either I have owned them or I do own them. I'm filming on one of them right now. You're going to have to be a control freak with your camera. What does that mean? It means that you're going to have to fail. You're going to have to engage your camera mentally, manipulating it yourself. I mean, I don't know exactly what you want to do. If you want a point and shoot camera, then get a point and shoot camera. You know, leave it in program mode. You know, turn your brain off. Point it. Oh, that's pretty. Click. Oh, that's pretty. Click. That is not how good pictures are made. Now, you can be like a blind squirrel and find an acorn every now and then, that way, photographically speaking. Or you can be like a broken clock and be right twice a day, every 24 hours. But that's not good. That's not improvement. The way you're going to improve, and it's going to be better than any photographic uh, class you're ever going to take, it's going to be better than any book you ever read, any, uh, any uh, Mel B series or any of these other so-called uh, intellectual photographers that have been shooting for 20 years are going to, you know, I'm going to watch a six-part video course. I'm not going to help you. It might help you very, very little, but the one thing that's going to help you the most, improving your photography, is being a control freak. Well, we got matrix metering now, we got multi-point autofocus, we got wraparound autofocus, we have continuous focus, we have single point focus, we got flippy LCD screens, and we got autofocus lenses with vibration reduction. Great. You know what that means? Doesn't mean a damn thing. Doesn't mean a damn thing. Your photography is not going to get better by the addition of those. Now, you're going to have better success as a sports and action photographer with those things, okay? You, you have no time to process it. Process it. You're on the sidelines of a basketball game or a football game, okay? You're shooting action, you're shooting the horses going around the corner or the bicyclist going around the corner. You need that stuff. It is useful. It is useful for a few other things. However, 95 times out of 100, if not more than that, you're not doing yourself any favors by using all those advanced features on your camera. You're not. You're screwing yourself. You are screwing yourself and you don't even know it. You don't know what you're doing, you're not engaging your brain, and you're not being a control freak over your camera. You need to be a dungeon master to your camera, grab it by the balls, twist it, choke it, strangle it, kill it, chain it to the wall, torture it, that means it has no control over you at all. I don't know, it's got a lot of buttons and function buttons and this. Forget all those function buttons on your Nikon D810, your D750, your D700. Forget all that crap. Throw it in the manual mode. 
okay? Go out and spend 20% of the day failing. You want to improve your photography ultra fast? There is no faster way, okay? I don't give a damn what anybody else says. They can kiss my ass right on the effing crack, okay? Here is a way where your photography will improve drastically and quickly is that you're going to have to mentally engage your camera by manipulating shutter speed, aperture, and focus. If you got eyesight issues, that's understandable. You're going to need an autofocus lens, that's understandable. That's something that you need. Start engaging, okay? Start engaging. Where do you think the artistry comes from? If you want to be a blind squirrel and find an acorn every now and then, oh, I'm going to throw my camera matrix metering and autofocus wrap. <laughs> oh! I got 10,000 shots today. Five of them are pretty decent. Two of them are good, and one of them is worth printing. <laughs> oh, I just want to take people like that. <laughs> You're not doing yourself... Flies buzzing around me. You're not doing yourself any favors doing that crap. Okay? This is a fact. You don't like it, I don't care. There's no way around it. Start failing with your camera, meaning 20%, 30%, your failure rate's going to drop drastically. Spend a day or two every week. Depends on how much free time you have. If it's once or twice a month, that's understandable. But go out and fail. Go out and fail. Stick it in manual only. Stick your lens in manual focus or use a manual focus lens. And start failing. Start seeing what's going on. Start spot metering, not matrix metering. Once you do that, your photography will improve so much faster than anything that you could read or any BS video made by some guy who's been shooting for 30 or 40 years, better than any photography class, okay? This is irrefutable. It is undeniable. Listen. Do it. Thank you for watching. Catch you later. Bye.